Coming to you live from Edinburgh Baseball Stadium in the three-time All-American City of Edinburgh, this is Bronx Baseball. Today, the Bronx look for a series win against the Bakersfield Roadrunners in the rubber game of this three-game series. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jonah Goldberg. Danny Elizondo sits to my right. Game three of this series, we've had two run, one run games to start it off. Two to one on Friday in favor of the Bronx. Three to two on Saturday in favor of the Roadrunners. But if you take out the unearned runs yesterday, then we're currently tied at one, heading to the tenth. As Errors played a pretty defining role in the game. A couple of drop fly balls and an Aaron throw on the Bronx side, and then in, on the Roadrunner side, a Drops five ball as well. All that leading to runs. And what otherwise was a pretty good pitching day. Blake English was phenomenal. Yeah, that, that change up from uh, English was working wonders for him. He kept the hitters off balance. But you're right, the defense faltered a bit behind him yesterday. And who knows what, ha what would have happened if uh, you don't ha make those errors and... As the defense behind him, you got to be able to make those plays. English left with the runner at second. Nobody out. Andrew Padron came in, didn't allow the runner to score. Did a nice job out of the bullpen on the other side. Three pitchers for Bakersfield. The interesting thing was the first two combined for three and a third innings. You had Stephen Yi, who really was struggling to find the strike zone, allowed the two runs, one earned. So they took him out. Hayden Carter came in, left with an apparent injury after an inning, and then James Barrigan came in, and he was just filthy. Yeah, he was another one of those pitchers for the road owners that came in, throw some strikes, and allowed the defense behind him, which has been pretty good this weekend so far, uh, to, to play some baseball, and, and they made the plays that they needed to make. Well, today the Bronx go for the series win. It would be their third in a row as they sent Alex Henson to the mound. Bronx looking for their first win behind Henson and a Henson start this season. Hardly Henson's fault. There's been bullpen, there's been defense, there's been lack of run support. It's a, it's always been something when Henson has started. He's had a chance to win a few games. I mean, he's only had one decision this year in his seven starts. So the Bronx are only hoping that they can get a little support for him. And if they're going to do it, they're going to do it behind a completely new look lineup that includes Alberto Morales in the leadoff spot. Alex Howe batting fourth, Brian Ramirez batting fifth, Victor Garcia Jr. back in the lineup, he's at the three hole, Evan Mason up to seven, Blake Thomas is in the lineup, batting eighth, so a lot of changes to the lineup today, Coach Mentrano will talk about those in just two shakes of a lamb's tail, so we'll take a time out, when we come back we'll be the coach's corner, I'll sit down with Bronx head coach Manny Mentrano, this is Bronx Baseball. Here. We understand how a team is the result of being part of something larger than yourself. Creating a better outcome and a better tomorrow. Doctors Hospital Renaissance is proud to support the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. Dr. Pena, does LASIK surgery work? LASIK surgery is America's most frequently performed elective procedure. In fact, I've helped thousands of patients see better. Dr. Pena. Call me Raulito. Thousands and thousands. Raulito, are you sure? Is that thing on? Yes. Follow me. I had to put them somewhere. It's a big project. That's a lot of successful operations. Call Dr. Raulito Pena at 661-UC. The phone keeps ringing. Gotta make room. It's the Red Tax Sales Event at South Texas Buick GMC. Come in today and claim your Red Tax cash on just about all of our Buick and GMC inventory. It's the Red Tax Sales Event at South Texas Buick GMC. Not the biggest, just the best.
Welcome back to Bronx Pregames Coach's Corner. Jonah Goldberg with Bronx head coach Manning Mintrana. And coach, yesterday you got a heck of a pitching performance out of Blake English. Yes, we did, uh, Jonah. Uh, Blake threw the ball really, really well. Um, he, you know, his even though he uh, he got the loss for the game, he deserved better. Uh, we kind of gave that game away, but uh, you're absolutely right. He gave us a very, very good pitching performance. Through the first eight innings, no extra base hits, and it was his first start in which he didn't walk anybody. He's really gotten a lot, uh, a lot better. Um, with the command of his fastball, and in particular uh, his secondary pitches, the uh, the changeup, he's really been throwing it over for strikes, Jonah, and that to him uh, makes a difference. When he can get that changeup over for strikes, um, that's probably his best pitch, um, and he, when he's able to do that, he's very effective. And while there were certainly some key errors behind him, there was also some pretty good defense. Uh, Shane Ammon back-to-back, -back, really good catches, the second one a diving catch in left field late in the game. Shane made some, uh, some nice plays, and those were uh, balls that were uh, – not necessarily hard hit, but well placed down the line. Uh, both of those footballs, as a matter of fact, in that inning came off of changeups where the right-handed hitters were way out in front. Um, and Shade did a nice job on both of them. Uh, Morales also made a couple of nice plays. Um, so, uh, yeah, there were some uh, some nice plays made behind English, but uh, we have to make the routine play, Jonah. And then uh, Brian Ramirez and Alex Howe continue to give you good at-bats. Alex Howe has been doing it uh, all year, um, and, and Ramirez has uh, been – beginning to turn it up lately. Uh, he had some good at-bats uh, yesterday. At one was key with the bases loaded. Uh, he hit the ball extremely well um, in the in the six hole, and their third baseman made a tremendous play. He dove, got to his feet, and threw, uh, and threw him out. So um, you're right. Uh, both both Howe and Ramirez gave us some pretty good at-bats yesterday. Well, with runs at a bit of a premium so far this weekend, wholesale changes to the lineup today. We've been having trouble scoring runs, uh, Jonah. So... Uh, we scored two yesterday. We scored two on uh, Friday. We need to score uh, try to get some more offense going. So uh, we really um, kind of mixed the lineup up. Uh, you know, we've got uh, leading off uh, Willie Mays and hitting second, Roberto Clemente, third, Hank Aaron. So hopefully those guys will be able to do the job for us. But no, all kidding aside, yeah, we, we've, uh, we've kind of turned the, the lineup upside down and see what happens today. Yeah, Alberto Morales uh, isn't necessarily your prototypical leadoff hitter because he's more of a power guy, but he has a pretty good on-base percentage. His on-base percentage is pretty good. He's not going to uh, straight steal a lot, but as you know, he's got some stolen bases. He, he delays extremely well. Um, so, yeah, he is leading off today, uh, which is uh, when, he's, when we post the lineup up in the dugout, it's going to be a shock. He's going to start laughing and probably get on, uh, on how and Chewy, how he's leading off. But uh, we're going to see. Hopefully it, uh, he has a good day and everybody else has a good day and we're able to get out of here with a – with a conference uh, weekend win. And Blake Thomas, who's been hitting well, both in whack play and against lefties this year, uh, in the lineup at DH. He, he does well against lefties. You're absolutely right, Jonah. And he had that big hit for us on, uh, on uh, Thursday night. So we're giving him the opportunity to get in there today. We're facing a lefty. Um, and uh, hopefully he'll be able to, uh, to continue to give us good at-bats. And Alex Henson on the mound. Alex Henson, he did, uh, on the mound again today, he's thrown uh, well. Uh, he threw well last Sunday, even though it didn't reflect. I thought uh, he threw well enough to win. Um, you know, last uh, last week uh, we had some issues on Sunday after we won uh, Friday and Saturday. Had a chance to sweep, uh, hit the ball offensively really well, uh, but uh, didn't turn a couple double plays and it cost us. So we're looking forward to Alex having a good performance uh, uh, today and uh, hoping to uh, to win two out of three this weekend. All right, coach. Thanks a lot and good luck. Thank you, Jonah. Bronx head coach Manny Mintrano, they'll do it for the coach's corner. We'll take a time out. When we come back, we'll be starting lineups and first pitch. This is Bronx Baseball. The 2-2. Two -two. Well outside to the backstop. Everybody running. Rio scores the tying run. Swing and a liner. Pass the third baseman into left field. The base hits. Bronx win. Bronx win. Bronx win. This commercial brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. They are the dreamers and the promise of the future. They are the hope who will lead us to tomorrow. They are the givers who have the passion to serve. They are the visionaries who will celebrate discovery. They will make a difference. They will change South Texas.
Welcome back out to Edinburgh Baseball Stadium alongside Danny Elizondo. I'm Jonah Goldberg. As we get ready for first pitch between the Bronx and the Roadrunners. Time for the starting lineups, and we'll start with the visiting Roadrunners. Leading off in center field, Jordy Hine. Batting second, the third baseman, Max Carter. Hitting third at second base, Oscar Sine. Cleaning up the first baseman, Alan Gwynn. Hitting for fifth at shortstop, Miles Jones. Batting sixth, the right fielder, Chance Gusbeth. Hitting seventh, the catcher, Ross Huff. Batting eighth in left field, Andrew Loyeski. And rounding out the order, designated hitter, Logan Trowbridge. On the mound for the Roadrunners, left-hander Austin Davis, the reigning whack pitcher of the week. Head coach of the Roadrunners in his sixth season is Bill Kernan, assisted by Jody Robinson, Brandon Boren, and Richie Escalera. Roadrunners enter this game with a record of 15 and 21. They're eight and six in whack play, which puts them in a four-way tie for third place. And they're four games back of Sacramento State, three and 11 on the road this season. As for those hosts, UTPA Bronx, new look lineup leading off at third base, Alberto Morales. Batting second, the shortstop, Jesus Garcia. Hitting third at first base, Victor Garcia Jr. Cleaning up the catcher, Alex Howe. Batting fifth at second base, Brian Ramirez. Hitting sixth in left field, Shane Ammon. Batting seventh in center, Evan Mason. Batting eighth, the designated hitter, Blake Thomas. Rounding out the order, right fielder, Lee Rios. On the mound today for the Bronx, left-hander Alex Henson. Head coach of the Bronx in the sixth season is Mr. Manny Mantrana. He is assisted by Norberto Lopez, Brandon Hennessy, and Andrew Carson. Bronx into this game with a record of 16 and 24. They're six and eight in whack play, which puts them in eighth place, six games back of Sacramento State. Currently a game back of a playoff spot as they're one game back of Utah Valley for the sixth and final seed. Keeping in mind Grand Canyon not postseason eligible. And at 1.03 p.m., an early departure. Jordan Hine looks at the first pitch fastball strike from Alex Henson. And we are underway. Umpires, Mark Lewis behind the plate. Greg Charles at first. Billy Hayes at third. As Henson kicks, reaches back, and deals. Breaking ball diving down and away. One and one. Game time temperature is 80 degrees. It feels like 81 with the heat index. On this overcast afternoon. The wind blowing right to left across the field at 10 miles an hour from the southeast. Breaking ball strike on the inside corner, one and two. Behind the lone left-handed batter in this Bakersfield lineup for the second time in three games. As the left-hander Henson deals. Misses low and outside. Henson to his left, or Howells to his left to block it. The count two and two. Bronx going with the orange tops. The pinstripe white pants with the green pinstripes, white numbers on the back, green trim. Green lettering UTPA on the front, white trim. Breaking ball. This is a little high. Three and two. They wear those green caps with the white fronts, orange bills, and the green lettering UTPA across the front. Henson steps back, brings the knee up, reaches back, and delivers. Foul back to the screen. We'll do it again. Get it back behind to start off the game. He's about to see his seventh pitch, which gives all the batters behind him an opportunity to see Henson and what he's got to offer. Henson deals, swing and a chopper left side, grabbed by Morales, who sets and fires the first for the out. One away. That'll bring up Max Carter, right-handed hitting third baseman. 310, two homers, 16 RBI. Carter DH the first two days. I was left standing in the bullpen on Friday when the Bronx walked off. Carter see up Blake Thomas, who's in the lineup today for the Bronx. Henson deals. Breaking ball strike on the outside corner. A lot of breaking balls early on for Henson. Defense behind Henson includes Shane Ammon in left, Evan Mason in center, Lee Rios in right. Henson deals. Inside, one and one. 
Alberto Morales at third, Jesus Garcia at short, Brian Ramirez at second, Victor Garcia Jr. back in the lineup at first. Alex Howe calls the pitches. And the left-hander Alex Henson deals. Up and away, off speed. Two and one, Bronx defense 964 fielding percentage. They've made 54 errors in 40 games while turning 27 double plays. Henson misses low, three and one. Just noticed Coach Al coming in to the stadium. It's good to see legendary Bronx head coach Al Ogletree out at the game. Pitches in the air to center. Mason makes the catch. Now batting for the Roadrunners, number two, the second baseman. Oscar and they're two away. There's Oscar Sinai. Red handed hitting second baseman. 2 12, four doubles, four triples, 17 RBI. Breaking ball misses outside. Bronx have had a lot of success with this part of the order. Three, four, and five hitters. Not necessarily the same people, but those positions in the batting order in this series. Our combined 0 for 24. Breaking ball strike. 1-1. One one. That's a big reason why the Bronx have been able to hold the Roadrunners to four runs over the first two games. Of course, the Bronx have only scored four runs of their own. Neither team picking up a mess of hits over these first two games. A lot of good pitching. Henson deals low, 2-1. and one. Low with the fastball. Uh, Left-hander deals. Fastball hit in the air. Center field. Mason backs up and moves to his right to make the catch. Final out of the inning. Three up, three down. At the end of half an inning to play. It's the Roadrunners nothing and the Bronx coming to bat. This is Bronx baseball. Brave and bold, silver and gold. We are on a mission. Aggie up. Bronx country just got a whole lot bigger. Mighty Wolverines of UVU. Join the herd. Lopes up. Bold moves, big season, grew up. We are the new gold standard. We will be champions. We are the Western Athletic Conference. <laughs> Welcome back out to Edinburgh Baseball Stadium alongside Danny Elizondo. I'm Jonah Goldberg. Go to the bottom of the first. Roadrunners nothing in the Bronx coming to bat against reigning whack pitcher of the week, left-hander Austin Davis. Roberto Morales to lead it off. Right-handed hitting third baseman, hitting lead off for the first time in his career. The senior at 215, two homers, 21 RBI. Getting on base of the 370 clip, though. He's walked 26 times and plunked nine times. From the third base side of the rubber, Davis deals. Fastball outside. Pitch low for a strike, one and one. Defensively, Andrew Loyeski in left, Jordan Hine in center, Chance Gusmith in right. Max Carter at third, Miles Jones at short, Oscar Sine at second, Alan Gwynn at first. 
Pitch outside, two and one. Ross Huff behind the plate. Austin Davis on the mound. Roadrunners defense pretty good, 979 fielding percentage, just 29 errors in 36 games. They've turned 34 double plays, nearly one per game. His pitch is lined up the middle and through to center field, the base hit. Well, leadoff hit for the new leadoff man. Morales not exactly a burner, but he's stolen four times in five attempts. You know, one thing uh, we've been talking about over the last couple weeks is the fact that Coach Retrano wanted Morales to see more fastballs, and he's probably going to see that in that leadoff spot. And that fastball that he just saw, he slapped him right back up the middle. Well, here's Jesus Garcia, the right-handed hitting shortstop, 248. Three doubles, a triple, 13 RBI. Davis throws to first. Uh, just a little toss over to make sure Morales knows that he knows he's there. Davis, career high nine strikeouts in a complete game shutout. 11 0 victory over Chicago State on Sunday. Wow, just three hits. Pitch a fastball strike on the outer corner. 0 and 1 on Garcia. Walk two. It was his first ever shutout in his second career complete game. One of two lefties in the weekend rotation for Bakersfield. Throw to first. And back in standing up is Morales. Morales takes a medium lead from first. He was heading back to the bag as the pitch is swung right through by Garcia. A little off speed, 0-2. You know, I'm noticing, look at where Davis's foot lands. We were talking about this was it yesterday, I think. Look at the front foot. Davis steals. Actually, never mind. Pitches in on the ground, past the diving Carter into left field, the base hit. And the right where it's supposed to. Pointing a little bit towards the, towards his left. Turn yourself around. In a perfect world, you want it to go straight, but you won't find many pitchers at this age who can get it to go straight. That includes bronze pitchers and pretty much most teams we see. But, you know, that's one of those things that they're working on, developing. I mean, that's what you do in college. Yeah, most of the time, it, you go with what's comfortable, and sometimes they don't like the fact that they have they point that toe towards the catcher. They like to curve it a little bit and get a little more balance, I guess. Quite frankly, there are quite a few major league pitchers who don't uh, mm -hmm. do it straight towards the catcher themselves. Garcia showing bunt, throw to second. Morales back in. Victor Garcia Jr., 257, six doubles, 15 RBI. Davis only a sophomore. Already in the weekend rotation. Garcia pulls back. And pitch outside. Do you see how quickly Davis got off the mound there? Yeah, I think he was expecting the bun. Yeah, I don't know if he was expecting to pull the bat back and maybe slash it up the middle. So Davis has to be careful there. Tells you what Bakersfield has in mind. They want to go for the lead runner. Pitch is bunted left side, and they're going to do it, and they got him. That's just some good defense from the pitcher. The left-hander falls that side of the, of the mound, and he just kept going, and it went right to the ball. And if you're batting with a couple of runners on, you want to bunt it to the third base side, try to make the third baseman fielded. But with the lefty on the mound, he took the ball there and made the play. After seeing the way Davis came off the mound on that first pitch, Probably should have tried bunting towards first base instead. A little untraditional, but, I mean, neither of the corner infielders were charging. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, and that's not necessarily something that Garcia can see. I mean, it, you know, we have the best view because we have the whole field right in front of us. So if the corner infielders aren't going to charge and the pitcher is specifically going to one side, pitch misses low. Count one-on-one on Alex Howe. 
And that's a that's a it's a cheap way to suddenly load the bases. Potentially. Alex Howe, 344 homers, 29 RBI. It's the first time in cleanup this year. He's hit everywhere from one, two, and three. Pitch. Hit high in the air out towards right field. Gus Smith moving back. He's got plenty of room. Makes the catch. Morales tags from second. He's headed for third. The throw coming straight through. It's a little wide left. So it's Garcia, actually, who moves to third. Well, Garcia Jr. hangs on at first. So two away for Brian Ramirez, the right-handed hitting second baseman. 310, homer, and 11 RBI. Pitch to Ramirez. Strike, fastball outside corner. They said means a run. And it's quickly 0-2 on Ramirez. Rock's trying to break through early. Davis deals. Fastball chopped is short on one hop. Jones flips to second for the force. And that's your inning. No runs, two hits, no errors, two left. At uh, the end of an inning of play, no score. You're watching Bronx Baseball. Here, we understand how a team is the result of being part of something larger than yourself creating a better outcome and a better tomorrow. Doctors Hospital Renaissance is proud to support the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. Dr. Pena, does LASIK surgery work? LASIK surgery is America's most frequently performed elective procedure. In fact, I've helped thousands of patients see better. Dr. Pena. Call me Raulito. Thousands and thousands. Raulito, are you sure? Is that thing on? Yes. Follow me. I had to put him somewhere. It's a big project. That's a lot of successful operations. Call Dr. Raulito Pena at 661-UC. The phone keeps ringing. Gotta make room. Welcome back out to Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. Alongside Danny Elizondo, I'm Jonah Goldberg. We go to the now top of the second, no score between the Bronx five, and the Roadrunners. Fire five and six in the Roadrunners order against Bronx left-hander Alex Henson. Ground ball and two fly balls in the first. Alan Gwynn digs in, righty first baseman. Takes outside. Win 301, seven doubles, 11 RBI. Henson deals. Fastball, strike on the inside corner. Henson's breaking ball misses outside. Two and one. Henson, a 6'4", 215-pound left-hander out of Evansville, Indiana. Henson kicks and deals. Breaking ball. Strike on the outside corner. Two and two. Making his 10th appearance, his 8th start of the year. He's 0-1 with a 389 ERA. Pitch. Upstairs, 3-2. and two. 40 in a third innings, 41 hits. Hit per inning. Opponents batting 275 off him. He struck out 26 while walking 17. About four walks per nine. 
Pitch is lined to third, caught by Morales on one knee. One away. Now batting for the Roadrunners, number 24, the shortstop, Miles Jones. Number bring up Miles Jones. Jones. Right-handed hitting shortstop, 241, homer, 13 RBI. Henson deals, curveball, strike on the inside corner. Henson's only allowed eight extra base hits this year. So he's basically averaging a little less than one per appearance. Pitch is lined to first out of the reach of Garcia and into right field for a base hit. Could be two. Rios comes up throwing, not in time. Asking he shall deliver. Miles Jones with a one-out double. Well, the runner in scoring position. First base runner for the Roadrunners. Base hit means the game's first run. Here's Chance Gusbeth. A right-handed hitting right fielder. At 278, a homer, 23 RBI. Hanson looking in for the sign from the first base side of the rubber, taking his time. Now he's ready to go. Sets above the letters, looks towards second not once but twice and deals. Low. 1-0. Last time out for Henson, five and a third at Utah Valley. Give up four runs on seven hits, all singles. Walk two, struck out three. Final score of that game was 14-11. They were the Wolverines as they avoided the sweep. Henson deals. Fastball striking the knees, one and one. Start before that, Henson went eight innings. That was a career best. Struck out a career high tying seven against Grand Canyon. And a three to two loss. Start before that, also struck out seven. That was at Seattle. Again, gave up just three runs. Another tough luck loss. That one was four to three. Henson turns and steps off. Got a no decision in that game. I mean, his first decision didn't come till April 6th. The loss to Grand Canyon, three to two. He's also had some impressive starts against some really good teams. The pitch. Breaking ball strike in the outside corner, one and two. First start came at Texas, then 15th in the nation. They're currently fourth. Pitched six innings of shutout ball. Allowed just two singles. Struck out two, walked two. Left in line for the win. That's it. Deals. Upstairs, two and two. The next week, he allowed just one run at UTSA, which was NCAA tournament team last year. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, they were the WAC champions. They're now in Conference USA. And then he went to Oklahoma State, who were then 15th in the nation. Rock's like playing number 15. Although, unless Texas takes a precipitous drop in the polls, that won't happen again this year anyway. Pitch is lined to first, caught by Garcia. Throws towards second, but Jones back to the bag. Two away. Now batting for the road runners, number four. Ross Huff, the batter, right at catcher, 246, two doubles, nine RBI. Henson at Oklahoma State, five and two thirds, three runs on eight hits, three walks, two strikeouts. So it's an out short of a. Quality start. He also left in line for the win, if I'm not mistaken, or at least it was tied. Bronx lost that game four to three. Oklahoma State walked off against the Bronx in that game. When you think about that series, Bronx had a chance to sweep, but oh, that was so long ago. 
good month ago. Pitch upstairs to Hop. Can't worry about what might have been, what could have been, only what has happened and what's to come. End of the day, it's a non-conference game. The key, though, I take away from all that is every time Henson takes him out, he gives you a pretty good outing. Just got to give him some run support. He will always give you a chance to win. But he's just one out of 26 men on a conference roster. Huff deals. Curveball upstairs. 2 and 0. Oh. What I really like, you know, this is an interesting number. He's allowed 19 runs this season. It is now 41 innings. 17 of them earned. What I like about that is he's not giving up a lot of unearned runs. He gave up two against New Mexico State. That's it. And all of his other outings, no unearned runs. Which means if the Bronx are committing errors behind him, he's picking up his teammates. Which is such an undervalued tribute for any pitcher. Pitch misses low. 3 0. I've always found ERA to be one of the most misleading statistics. Because you could give up a ton of runs, but if there happen to be errors behind them, you know, you'll say, well, his ERA is zero, but he's allowed 12 runs in four innings this year. Which, I mean, I'm, that's nobody specific. I can't think of anybody that would ever have a line like that. But you get the idea that it's up to the pitcher to, you know, if somebody makes an error behind him, then you just pick up your teammate. And you can't always do it, but do it as much as you can. Pitch high ball four, four pitch walk to Huff. Now batting for the road runner, number 16, the left fielder, Andrew Loyevsky. Loyevsky. You know, it's the same way where if a pitcher struggles and his offense gets him a bunch of runs, you know, they're picking up the pitcher. Exactly. So, you know, it works both ways. That's why, you know, everybody comes out and says wins and losses are the most overrated statistic. I think they're becoming so overrated that they become underrated. Because it's not that I'm talking about it as for the pitcher. I'm just as from the standpoint of the team picking the pitcher up or runs versus earned runs, the pitcher picking the team up. You know, some say that baseball is such an individual sport. Uh, anybody? No, it's not. It's such a team sport. Curveball strike. I mean, you think Sam Street's not an O because he's the only pitcher out, the only player out there? He's often the only pitcher out there. He's throwing seven complete games, <laughs> but but he still needs the defense behind him. Yeah, and he needs the he needs, he needs runs. The runs. Yeah, we saw that on Friday night. Yeah, I mean, it was one nothing, two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Mm -hmm. Team doesn't score, he doesn't win. Do you win better? Team doesn't score, Bronx don't win. Which is the more important stat. Be an 0-1 to Loyeski. He's five for tw or four for 26 with a homer and five RBI. Count levels of one and one. Runner at second, Jones. Runner at first, Huff. Two outs at the top of the second, no score. Basic change that in a hurry. Henson deals. There's a strike on the outside corner. Fastball one and two. Henson holds the set, kicks and deals. Breaking ball low. Two and two. After uh, one, two, three first. Henson laboring a little here in the second. Henson.
hits and deals. Curve ball hitting the air out towards left center. Three-man conversion. Garcia from short making the call from center. Mason comes in. He dives. He doesn't get it. It drops in between them. Jones scores. Huff to third. And the Roadrunners lead one to nothing. Well, Garcia was calling with his hands. Mason may have been calling verbally. So he came racing in. I mean, that's a shortstop's ball. It was so shallow. We get another look at it on our 956sports.com DVR. Yeah, then Garcia was clearly calling, and then Mason comes running in, and he just he tried to dive, and he doesn't catch it. I think that's got to be a hit. I think that's got to be a hit as well. Garcia, you're right, should have made that play, but he was called off by the center fielder. Once you're in the outfield grass, the center fielder has priority over any other fielder. And if he calls it, Garcia, he came off the play, and Mason tried to make the diving catch, and it just fell. Yeah, I mean, you can't give him error to Mason because, I mean, tried to make a tough diving catch. I mean, you could call it a mental error if he called for it, whereas, you know, maybe Garcia needs to go for that. But if he's called off, I mean, he doesn't know how close Mason is. So, and you're right, center fielder's ball once you're on the outfield grass. Center fielder is, the, is in command. And if Garcia keeps going out, from short and doesn't stop and Mason ends up diving they could have collided and then it could have gotten worse than what it came out to be well coach Ventrano makes a visit to try and settle things down Bronx bullpen's getting busy But it stops just as quickly. I don't think that there was. I don't think that was anything of note. Maybe it, I know Andy Fortuna was playing catch. Maybe he was just warming up just in case. Like to keep your arms loose, I guess. Could just be coincidental that it happened at that point. Mm -hmm. Logan Trowbridge, the batter. Low two and zero. Oh. Trowbridge, 247. Two doubles, three triples, 13 RBI. Ensign deals. Pass ball hit in the air to right. Rios is right there to make the catch. Final out of the inning. One run, two hits, no errors, two left. At uh, the end of an inning and a half, one to nothing Roadrunners. You're watching Bronx Baseball. It's the Red Tax Sales Event at South Texas Buick GMC. Come in today and claim your Red Tax cash on just about all of our Buick and GMC inventory. It's the Red Tax Sales Event at South Texas Buick GMC. Not the biggest, just the best. Welcome back out to Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. Alongside Danny Elizondo, I'm Jonah Goldberg. 
We go to the bottom of the second. It's one to nothing Roadrunners. Shane Hammond leads it off. And he looks to strike one from the lefty Austin Davis. Ammon, left-handed hitting left fielder, 281, homer 11 RBI. And he takes strike two. Swing and a miss. Hammond fooled by the pitch. And three pitch strikeout for Davis. One away in the second. Well, Andy Fortuna pinch hitting for Evan Mason. Mason didn't get in at bat. Probably take over in center field in the next inning. Remember Mason, that dive, calling off Garcia that may have cost the Bronx a run. And he is pulled from this game. But Fortuna looks at a pass ball high and outside. Fortuna is two for 26 this season. Four RBI, three runs scored. Pitch a strike, one and one on Fortuna. Davis misses outside, two and one. Davis this season, two and six, with an ERA of 3.06. Nine games and starts, two complete games, one shutout. Tails a strike, two and two. 61 and two thirds innings, 56 hits. Six fewer hits than innings pitched. Opponents batting 241 off him. Pitches down the ground to third. Grabbed by Carter. Fires to first for the out. Two away. They'll bring up Blake Thomas, the righty DH. Thomas, 220, three doubles, three RBI. At the walk off hit against the lefty to end Thursday's game. Davis, 48 strikeouts compared to 33 walks. About four and a half walks per nine. First pitch misses outside to Thomas. Fouled off, straight back and out of play. And that's the afternoon's first, GNS Lass. Foul ball. Thomas, six for 15 against lefties this year. That's 400. Pitch outside, two and one. He's also brought a pretty good bat to whack play. 375, he's six for 16. Left-hander deals. Breaking ball in the air to second. Sinai makes the catch. Final out of the inning. Three up, three down. At the end of two innings of play, one to nothing Roadrunners. You're watching Bronx Baseball. The 2-2, two -two. well outside to the backstop. Everybody running, Rio scores the tying run. Swing and a liner, pass the third base, spin into left field, the base hit. Front swing, front swing, front swing. This commercial brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. They are the dreamers and the promise of the future. They are the hope who will lead us to tomorrow. They are the givers who have the passion to serve. They are the visionaries who will celebrate discovery. They will make a difference. They will change South Texas. Back at Edinburgh Baseball Stadium alongside Danny Elizondo. I'm Jonah Goldberg. We go to the top of the third. It's one to nothing Roadrunners. And with the play by play, here's Danny. Thank you, Jonah. Jordy Hine going to lead things off for the Roadrunners. He's 0 for 1 this afternoon. Grounded out to third, back in the first. Here's the pitch from the left hander, Alex Henson. There's a strike with the breaking ball right on the knees. Henson. Has 
thrown only half of his 42 pitches for strikes today. The 0 1 lifted over here to the left, out of play, quickly 0 and 2. It's not a lot of deep counts. Long at bats. That second inning really took a toll on Henson as he brings the 0-2 pitch, breaking ball just off the outside corner. He's averaging about five pitches per at bat right now. A little unusual for him. Here's the 1-2. It's another foul back into the screen. And that's a GNS glass foul ball. The count remains a ball and two strikes here on Jordy Hine. Benson kicks and delivers. Chopper down to first. It'll be a fair ball right over the bag. Reels will go into that right field corner, picks it up. We'll fire it back in. It'll be a leadoff double for Hine. Now batting for the road runner, number eight, the third baseman, Max Carter. So now that'll bring Max Carter to the plate. He's 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Henson takes a look to the shortstop, Jesus Garcia, who flashes his signs. Now Henson stares in for the sign from Alex Howe. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball low and outside. One ball, no strikes. Hine at second with 11 stolen bases on the season. Henson sets at the letters. Here's the 1-0. Fastball just a bit tight on the knees. Two balls, no strikes now. Here's the 2-0 pitch, a swing and a little tapper to the mound. Henson has it, he looks to third, nobody there to take the throw, so he'll spin and fire to first. One down as Hine now goes over to third. Oscar Sinai steps in. He's 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. But with one out and the runner at third, the infield will come in for the Bronx. The Bronx going to try to cut down the runner from third on a ground ball in the infield as the pitch from Henson is a breaking ball that stays high. 1-0. Here's the 1-0 delivery. Breaking ball again. Stays high. Two balls, no strikes. Roadrunners lead 1-0 here in the top of the third inning. The Jordy Hine 90 feet away. And Oscar Sine trying to drive him in. The pitch is a little blooper over to the right side. Grabbed by Garcia at first. He looks the runner back to third. Well, that's huge. Now Bronx can get out of it without an outscoring run. Well, that'll bring Alan Gwynn to the plate. 
Quinn's 0 for 1 with a line out to third. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball on inside. Ball, ball one. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Count evens at a one and one. Hanson working on the first base side of the rubber. Brings the one one pitch. A fastball misses a bit high. Two and one the count. Two one pitch, low and in, tight on the knees. Count goes three and one. Two away here in the top of the third. Henson trying to work around that leadoff double. Here's the three one. Swing and a chopper down towards third. It'll be wide of the bag. Ricochets off of the railing in front of the bleachers and out towards Shane Ammon in left. So the count goes full here on Gwynn. Here's the payoff pitch, swinging a high fly ball out towards right field. Rio's moving over to his right, and he is there to make the catch. And that'll retire the side for the Roadrunners here in the top of the third. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one runner left on. In the middle of the third, Roadrunners lead 1-0. We'll be back with more Bronx baseball after this break. Brave and bold, silver and gold. We are on a mission. Aggie up. Bronx country just got a whole lot bigger. Mighty Wolverines at UVU. Join the herd. Lopes up. Bold moves, big season, grew up. We are the new gold standard. We will be champions. We are the Western Athletic Conference. <laughs> Welcome back to Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. We go to the bottom of the third. Danny Elizondo with you here alongside Jonah Goldberg. Lee Reels going to lead things off against Austin Davis. As Reels looks at a fastball just off the outside edge. 1-0. Reels on the season batting 200. He hits one out towards center field. Second baseman Sine goes out there and makes the catch. And that's one away. Now back here in the bottom of the third. Now back to the top of the order with Alberto Morales. He's one for one. Morales awaits the pitch. Here it comes. Fastball low and inside. One and oh. Pitch from Davis, right on the outside corner. 
One and one the count. Off speed stays high, but called a strike. Count goes to one and two. Davis working quickly. Brings the fastball, stays away. Two and two the count. That might be one of the pinpoint strategies for this road under pitching staff as Davis misses outside on Morales. Count goes full. Quickly, here's the payoff pitch. As they line her out towards left center field, Hine going over to his right, still moving, and he is there to make the catch. Two away. Now for Jesus Garcia. Davis on that mound, ready to go. Garcia now just settles in. Here comes the first pitch. Garcia trying to bunt his way on. That one's going to be a foul ball. Right at home plate. Oh, and one. We saw Taylor Aikenhead on Friday do the exact same thing. He got into a groove, just grabbed and brought the pitch, grabbed and brought the pitch, and Davis is doing that here this afternoon. Good rhythm begets good pitching. Here's the 0-1. Fastball misses outside. 1-1 one one the count. One one delivery. Garcia tries to bunt again. That one goes foul. This count goes to 1-2. and two. Davis picking up right where he left off against Chicago State on Sunday. Here's the one-two pitch. Breaking ball in the dirt. Good eye by Garcia. Two and two the count. A two-two delivery. Hit high in the air out towards the right side. Gusbick going over to his right. He will be there to make the catch. And that'll retire the side for the Bronx here in the bottom of the third. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on. After three innings of play, Bronx Trail 1-0. We'll be back with more Bronx baseball after this break. Here, we understand how a team is the result of being part of something larger than yourself. Creating a better outcome and a better tomorrow. Doctors Hospital Renaissance is proud to support the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. Dr. Pena, does LASIK surgery work? LASIK surgery is America's most frequently performed elective procedure. In fact, I've helped thousands of patients see better. Dr. Pena. Call me Raulito. Thousands and thousands. Raulito, are you sure? That thing on? Yes. Follow me. I had to put him somewhere. It's a big project. That's a lot of successful operations. Call Dr. Rolito Pena at 661-UC. The phone keeps ringing. Got to make room. Welcome back to Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. We go to the top of the fourth. Danny Elizondo with you here alongside Jonah Goldberg. Bronx trail 1-0. Alex Henson goes out to the mound for another inning of work. He'll be facing the 5, 6, and 7 hitters for the Roadrunners here in this inning. As Chance, actually that's Miles Jones who steps in there. Looks at a breaking ball. Low and away. 1-0. Henson brings the pitch off speed in there for a strike. One and one the count. Through three innings, the Roadrunners with one run on three hits, no errors. The Bronx, no runs, two hits, and no errors as well. 
Henson now with a 1-1, hit out towards second base. Ramirez has it on a couple of hops. He flips it over to first and in time. Now for the road One away now for uh, Chance Gusbeth. He's 0 for 1 with a line out to first. Henson brings the pitch, swinging a little dribbler back towards the mound. Grabbed by Henson, he flips and turns, and the throw is high. That'll be an E1. Probably should have let Howe field that ball. They both got there about the same time, but How if Henson feels he has to turn and find his footing and then kind of throw on the fly, which is probably why it was high, he didn't really have time to get himself set. Howe had a better l angle. So if Henson maybe drops to the ground, Henson, uh, Howe could pick it up and fire to first. That one had a lot of a spin off of it. I think when the Henson originally was going to try to get it, but when it hit the ground, it, it spun to Henson's left. I mean, excuse me, to Howe's left, and then Henson had to pick it up as he brings the first pitch to Ross Huff, and that one's low and inside. So a runner on. Or the Roadrunners catcher who walked his first time up. The 1 0 pitch. Hit out towards left center field. Ammon going back. Ammon there to make the catch. Fires it back in, and Guspeth will have to retreat back to the bag at first. For the so that'll bring Andrew Loyeski to the plate. Loyeski hit the RBI single back in the second. Gave the Roadrunners the one nothing lead. Henson tosses over to first. Not in time. Gusbeth, one for one in stolen bases this season. The pitch to Loyeski is tight on the knees. Henson working from the stretch. There's in for the sun. The 1-0 in the dirt. Nice stop by Howe to keep it in front of him. Two and zero the count. Gusbeth takes his lead off of first. Here's the 2 0. -oh. No one inside. Ball three. Logan Trowbridge on deck over to the right side for the Roadrunners. Here's a 3-0. Right over the heart of the plate. Taken for a strike. 3 and 1. Here's the pitch from Henson. The breaking ball just a bit high. Ball four. Gusbit moves over now to second. Loyeski well, is on Logan for Logan Trowbridge. Trowbridge. He's 0 for 1 with a fly out to right. A base hit. 
Could mean another run for the Roadrunners. Time called at the plate. Here's the pitch from Henson. Fastball in there for a strike. Henson looks in, gets his signs. Kicks and brings the 0-1. Another fastball, and it's another striker on the inside corner. So it's quickly 0-2 here on Trowbridge. One more strike, and Henson can get out of this inning. The 0-2 pitch, breaking ball, stays outside. Henson trying to get Trowbridge to chase. But Trowbridge taking on, on that one, and the count goes to a 1 and 2 here. Not a bad waste pitch if you're Henson trying to get that off speed off the outside edge, as close to the edge as possible. Here's the one two. Fastball low and inside. The count evens up at two and two. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball, low and outside. And now the count goes full here on Trowbridge. Runners will be in motion. Here's the payoff pitch. Runners going. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Trowbridge can't catch up to the heater. And that'll do it for the Roadrunners here in the top of the fourth. No runs. No hits. One error and two runners left on in the middle of the fourth. Bronx Trail 1-0. We'll be back with more Bronx baseball after this break. It's the Red Tax Sales event at South Texas Buick GMC. Come in today and claim your Red Tax cash on just about all of our Buick and GMC inventory. It's the Red Tax Sales event at South Texas Buick GMC. Not the biggest, just the best. We go to the bottom of the fourth here at Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. Danny Elisola with you here alongside Jonah Goldberg. Bronx Trail 1-0. Victor Garcia Jr. going to lead things off for the Bronx against the left-handed pitcher Austin Davis. The pitch from Davis, a fastball upstairs, ball one. 
Garcia reached center fielder's choice back in the first. So he looks at a breaking ball low and outside. 2 0 the count. He'd been trying to lay down a sacrifice bunt with runners at first and second, but Davis made a nice play, got the runner at third. The 2 0 pitch tied on the hips of Garcia. Count goes to 3 0. And in a situation like this, Davis was in that motion, in that groove of just grabbing and throwing, grabbing and throwing. Now he slows down a bit as he took a little breather. Here's a 3-0. There's a strike on the outside corner. Count now three and one. The lefty brings it. Chopper over to the right side. And that will sneak into right field for a base hit right under the second baseman's glove. Tell you, seeing eye singles are tough to come by against this infield defense. We've seen so much range out of Tanaya and Jones over the last couple of days. Up the middle, it's really such a tight infield. Garcia placed it perfectly. So now Alex Howe will step in there. He's 0 for 1 with a fly out to right. Garcia takes his lead off of first. Davis brings the pitch. This is Hine away. What an O. It's the first time that Davis works out of the stretch since that first inning. The 1-0 delivery. Swinging a fly ball out towards the right side. That one will be caught by Gusbith. Garcia single also snapping a streak of nine in a row retired by Davis. Number one, the second baseman. It was the first Brian. base runner since Garcia had reached on the fielder's choice. So now Brian Ramirez steps in. He's 0 for 1 with the fielder's choice. The pitch from Davis is right on the knees for strike one. The 0 1 delivery. Ball popped out of the glove of Huff. Garcia at first thought about going to second, but he wisely stayed put. So the count evens at a ball and a strike. 1 1 pitch, fastball stays high and away. 2 and 1 the count. Chopper out towards third, grabbed by Carter, fires over to second, Sine on to first, and in time, around the horn, inning ending, double play. Off the bat of Brian Armitas, and that'll do it for the Bronx. Here in the bottom of the fourth. No runs. One hit, no errors, nobody left on after four innings of play. The Bronx trail 1-0. We'll be back with more Bronx baseball after this break. The 2 2. Well outside to the backstop. Everybody running. Rio scores the tying run. Swinging a liner past the third baseman into left field. The base hit. Front swing. Front swing. Front swing. This commercial brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. They are the dreamers and the promise of the future. They are the hope who will lead us to tomorrow. They are the givers who have the passion to serve. They are the visionaries who will celebrate discovery. They will make a difference. They will change South Texas. Welcome back to Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. We go to the top of the fifth. And with a play-by-play, -play, here's Jonah. Well, thank you, Danny. Top of the Roadrunners order against Bronx left-hander Alex Henson. 
Jordy Ein leads it off, one for two. He doubled in the third. And it looks at a pitch low. That was the 76th pitch by Henson. He's thrown 37 of them for strike, so a bunch of long innings. 25 pitch second, that really set him back. Otherwise, a 16 in the third, 17 in the first, and the fourth. Henson deals, pulled on the ground right side, grabbed by Garcia on a hop. He stumbles, tries to feed Henson, covering but not in time. Hine beats it out, infield single. Garcia was going to try to beat Hine to the bag himself, but he, I don't know if he caught a spike or something, but he kind of took a misstep, so then he went for Henson, but Hine's just too fast. So here's Max Carter 0 for 2. I mean, Hine has stolen in every game of this series. He's 11 for 12 this season. He had two yesterday and one on Thursday. Three for three is Hine. Max Carter, fly out on the ground out today. The only run to speak of came in the second. With one out, Miles Jones doubled. The first time and only time any member of the three, four, or five in the lineup for Bakersfield this series has a hit. Pitch misses low. But it was a big hit because with two outs, Andrew Loyeski came up with an RBI single to get Jones home. But the Roadrunners up one to nothing. And that's all we've got. Throw to first. Back in standing up is Hine. Henson has stranded five men on base over the last three innings. Including two in the second and two in the fourth. He's been wiggling in and out of trouble. Throw to first and Hine back in standing up. Henson deals. Breaking ball inside. 2 0. Oh. Henson deals. Low. 3 0. Oh. Series at stake. Each team with a one run win. Pitch a strike on the inside corner, three and one. And with the middle of the whack punched up so closely together, every series critical, every win critical, of course, but in case you need a tiebreaker to determine seating, start with head to head series. And with three game series, it's unlikely that you're going to get beyond that very often. With the exceptions of a few teams that have had snow outs this year. Henson deals. Curveball hits a third. Morales to second for one. Relay throw in the dirt. Scooped out by Garcia. You know, Ramirez had trouble getting that ball out of his glove, and he double clutched. But uh, even with the throw in the dirt, Garcia, the nice scoop. Rock's able to turn the 5-4-3 DP. Now two away. The two, the a good job by Ramirez to stay with the play. Uh, the, usually after a double clutch, you, you'd eat the baseball and, and not make the throw because if he's already there, no point. But he looked up, and he still had plenty of time, so he fired over to first. Good heads-up play by Ramirez. Here's Oscar Sinai, 0 for 2, fly out in a line out today, and lefty to righty, Hanson deals, fastball strike. Swing and 
miss. Right through a curveball diving down and in 0-2. Two. Popped up down the right field line. Garcia gives it a look. It's in the seats. And that's another GNS Glass foul ball. Still 0 and 2. Deals upstairs. One and two. And the left hander deals. Curveball. Little tapper back to the mound. Grabbed by Henson off the mound. Sets and fires to first for the out. That's your inning. No runs a hit, no errors, nobody left. And in the four and a half innings of play, we're halfway through it. Uh, the Bronx Trail wants nothing. You're watching Bronx Baseball. Brave and bold, silver and gold. We are on a mission. Aggie up. Bronx country just got a whole lot bigger. Mighty Wolverines of UVU. Join the herd. Lopes up. Bold moves, big season, grew up. We are the new gold standard. We will be champions. We are the Western Athletic Conference. Back we are at Edinburgh Baseball Stadium alongside Danny Elizondo. I'm Jonah Goldberg. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's one nothing Roadrunners on an RBI single by Andrew Lajewski in the second. Six, seven, eight in the Bronx order against dealing left-hander Austin Davis of Bakersfield, who deals low, 1-0, to Shane M, and who struck out swinging on three pitches in the second. Davis deals. Fastball, chopper to second. Sanaya Fields throws to first for the out, one away. Then we're going to Andy Fortuna. He grounded out in the second. Now batting for your Bronx, number 22, the center fielder, Andy Fortuna. Davis deals. First pitch swing. Pop up and back of second. Gus Smith in. And he makes the catch. Two away on three pitches. Good Blake Thomas. He popped out in the second. Well, Davis has had an economy of pitches today. He's barely over 50. 60% of them strikes. Blake Thomas takes low. So he's held four through nine in check. No base runners from the four through nine in the order. One and one now. Of course, only four base runners total for the Bronx. Three on hits, one on fielder's choice. Three of them came in the first inning. Count goes to one and two on Thomas. Since then, just the single by Victor Garcia Jr. in the fourth is Thomas strikes out swinging. Second strikeout by Davis. That's your inning. Three up, three down. Five in a row by Davis. 
At the end of five innings of play, one to nothing Roadrunners, you're watching Bronx Baseball. Here, we understand how a team is the result of being part of something larger than yourself. Creating a better outcome and a better tomorrow. Doctors Hospital Renaissance is proud to support the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. Dr. Pena, does LASIK surgery work? LASIK surgery is America's most frequently performed elective procedure. In fact, I've helped thousands of patients see better. Dr. Pena. Call me Raulito. Thousands and thousands. Raulito, are you sure? Is that thing on? Yes. Follow me. I had to put him somewhere. It's a big project. That's a lot of successful operations. Call Dr. Rolito Pena at 661-UC. The phone keeps ringing. Gotta make room. Welcome back out to Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. Alongside Danny Elizondo, I'm Jonah Goldberg. We go to the top of the sixth. One to nothing, Roadrunners. Sal and Gwynn leads off and takes high. The run came in the second on an RBI single by Andrew Loyeski. That's it. Otherwise, we've had a pretty good pitching duel between a pair of lefties. As Henson approaches his 90th pitch, he deals inside. About half of them have been strikes. Henson deals. Breaking ball inside. 3-0. and Henson deals. Fastball strike. Gwynn kind of stepped out. I guess he probably verbally called for time and it wasn't granted. Either that or he's just playing with Henson. <laughs> Pitch a little ball four, he walked him. Well, he probably, if he didn't call for time, then he probably just had no intention of swinging at the pitch on 3-0 and in order to make sure he didn't swing at it. Easiest thing to do is make sure you're not even in hitting position. Well, he draws the walk, does Gwynn, the third one issued by Henson today. Here's Miles Jones, doubled and scored in the second. He grounded out in the fourth, one for two. The left-hander deals inside. Stretching in the Bronx bullpen, a little windmilling. Morales, a quick word with Henson. Pitch is fouled off to the right. One and one on Jones. Throw to first. Back in standing up is Gwynn. Tanner Dickerson starting to get loose for the Bronx. Haven't seen him in a little while. Not since the Grand Canyon series, two weeks ago tomorrow. Pitch inside, two and one. And then pitched Utah Valley last weekend. So you know he's ready to go. Ends and deals. Line drive, right field, base hit on the off-speed pitch. On the second moves, Gwynn. Now batting for the Roadrunners, number 22, the right fielder. Two on, nobody out in the top of the sixth. 
for a chance, Gus Smith, who's 0 for 2. Reached on an error in the fourth and lined out in the second. And Bronx head coach Manny Mentrano making the walk out to the mound. Buy a little time for Dickerson to get loose. And also, again, try and slow things down. You don't want things to snowball on Henson. If they're giving up a walk and a single to start the inning. Henson thinks of himself as a ground ball pitcher. That's what he told us on Bronx Country a week and a half ago. After he struck out seven. He said, you know, it's a little unusual that he's done that because he really looks to get ground balls. And in his last three outs have come on ground balls. He's got four, five, six ground ball outs today. Could certainly use another ground ball here. Got a double play last inning in a jam. Well, likely, though, you're going to see the bun here from Gusbis. Maybe that's what Coach Montrano wanted to tell his infield. Ready the, the bunt defense. I think they'll go after the lead runner with a lefty on the mound. Hanson deals. He, it's down the third baseline. A butte grab by Morales. He throws to first. Ramirez covering for the out. Sack bunt works 5-4. That moves Gwynn to third and Gus Smith to second. He saw that. Morales stayed at home initially. But with the ball down the line, he was the only man who had a chance at a play. Had it been on the grass, I think Henson would have gone for it and it would have gone for the lead man. So... Ducks on the pond with one out in the top of the sixth. Roadrunner's already up one zip, and here's Ross Huff, who walked in the second and lined out in the fourth. Bronx pinching at the corners. Now they bring the middlemen in as well. They'll try and cut off a run on a ground ball. Now you could walk Huff to try and set up a double play, but Andrew Lajewski on deck is the game's lone RBI. Henson deals. Fastball below the knees. Runner at third, Gwynn. The runner at second, Jones. One out in the top of the sixth. Base hit means two. Outfield playing pretty far back, except in right where Rios is medium depth. Fortuna a few steps towards left, playing Carter to pull. Pitch misses below the knees, 2-0 and on Huff. Hanson gets his sign from Howe. Sets just above the letters. Kicks and deals. Curveball strike catches the outside corner, two and one. Henson has already stranded five base runners today. Or two on with two out in the second when it came to an end. Runner at third with one out in the third, didn't allow him to score. Had two on in the fourth, kept them where they were as well. Got the double play in the fifth to erase a base runner. Not an option here with second and third and one out. Henson looking for a ground ball, a pop-up, or a strikeout. He'll also settle for a long drive double play, I'm sure. This pitch has popped up. Right side. Garcia gives it a long look, but that'll make the seats. Four rows up, takes a big hop, and it's about to become a souvenir for a fan as the youth of Edinburgh goes running for it. And the count two and two on Huff. Yeah, 
Henson comes set and deals. Curveball just missed on the outside corner. Boy, that was pretty similar to the strike one pitch, huh, Danny? Yeah, that was right on the outside corner. Home plate umpire Mark Lewis probably thought it was a bit high. But he's called that earlier, like you mentioned, so I'm not too sure where that missed. It'll be a 3-2. Henson deals. Swing, and there's a fly ball out to left. Ammon coming in. Let's see if they'll send him. Ammon makes the catch. Comes up firing to the plate. Cut off by Morales. Gwynn has to hold at third. Nice job by Henson and Ammon. Two away. Now back into the road runner, number 16, the left fielder, Andrew Loyeski. Well, here's Andrew Loyeski. He's got the game's lone RBI. Came in the second with two outs when he singled home Jones, who's currently standing at second, like he was in the second. This time, Gwynn is also at third with two down. Lieski has also walked today. Now the infield can play back. Any kind of out in the inning. Hanson holds the set and deals. Pass ball, strike on the inside corner. Logan Trowbridge on deck, he's 0 for 2. Hanson working deliberately with runners in scoring position. And Lieski calls time, steps out. Takes a practice hack and now back in. A small bend of the knees and Henson deals. Curveball grounded right back to the mound. Henson fields, he'll underhand the first for the out. And that's your inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, two left. At the end of five and a half innings of play, it's one to nothing Roadrunners. You're watching Bronx Baseball. Here, we understand how a team is the result of being part of something larger than yourself. Creating a better outcome and a better tomorrow. Doctors Hospital Renaissance is proud to support the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. Dr. Pena, does LASIK surgery work? LASIK surgery is America's most frequently performed elective procedure. In fact, I've helped thousands of patients see better. Dr. Pena. Call me Raulito. Thousands and thousands. Raulito, are you sure? Is that thing on? Yes. Follow me. I had to put him somewhere. It's a big project. That's a lot of successful operations. Call Dr. Raulito Pena at 661-UC. The phone keeps ringing. Gotta make room. Back we are at Edinburgh Baseball Stadium alongside Danny Elizondo. I'm Jonah Goldberg. Bottom of the sixth, it's one to nothing, Roadrunners. And Austin Davis deals high to Lee Rios. Rios popped out in the third. Davis pitching a gem today. Pitch a fastball strike on the inside corner. He's retired the last five. He's allowed just one base runner since the first. Fourteen of the last fifteen set down by Henson. Pitch fouled off, one and two. No, not by Henson, by Davis. Pitch 
pitch low, two and two. 61 pitches, 38 strikes for Davis. He's been quite economical. Pitch fouled off to the right. Still two and two. And that's another GNS last foul ball. Downstairs, three and two. Ball four. First walk drawn by the Bronx against Davis today. It's of the seven pitch variety. Good patience by Rios. And the tying run is on base. Rios has some pretty good wheels. Here's Alberto Morales. Stuck into the leadoff spot for the first time today, and he's one for two. Pitch misses high and outside. The kick and the pitch. Fastball inside, 2-0. and oh. High and outside, 3-0. and oh. You want a stat, Danny? Love stats. Seven balls in this inning by Davis. That's the most balls he's thrown in any inning today. He sure looks flustered out there right now. <laughs> Meeting of the minds in the mound as head coach Bill Kernan makes a visit. The bullpen's completely empty. I mean, there's nobody down there, so this isn't to stall. This is to try and just Davis to calm down. Low. Don't let it snowball. And at the same time, pretty much every position player is crowding around Coach Mentrana now down the third baseline. Literally, they came out of the dugout, they came from the bases, they come from everywhere. Coach Mentrana, I think, trying to rally the troops here. He notices that Davis now starting to, to show a little weakness here, can't find the strike zone in this inning, and the Bronx have to be able to take advantage of that. Yeah, you know, good pitchers like Davis, you don't get a lot of opportunities. When you get that opportunity, you need to capitalize. Morales shows bunts. He takes ball four. Back-to-back -back walks by Davis. He didn't walk anybody through the first five innings. And just like that, the Roadrunners are going to get that bullpen staffed. Sergio Luna is running down there. And a bullpen catcher right behind him is Garrett Pierce. Or, no. Check that. Cody White puts on some catcher's gear. He's right behind him. The last time we, we saw a bunt in this ball game, you mentioned how Davis fell over to, towards third base. Pitch outside. There he goes again. Now if Garcia can get a push bunt straight towards the mound. Yeah, you know what? There would <laughs> nobody there to be covering. And there's always a danger that he doesn't fall off, and then that's a double play, but you're right. He pushes it to the first base side. It's fielded. Throw to third. Gets away. <laughs> Heading home is Rios, and he scores the tying run. Well, Garcia bunted it to first base. Gwynn came up firing to third. I don't know that it was going to be in time anyway. So either way, it's a fielder's choice. That gets Garcia aboard. And then Rio scores on the E3. 
Victor Garcia Jr. is up. He's showing buns, and he bunts it back towards the mound. There's going to be another play at third. They got the lead runner again. Well, he bunted it right where Davis was going. And every time the Bronx show bun, he falls towards that third base side. It's just good bun defense. The Bronx have to be able to go back towards first or up the middle of the infield. So one away, Jesus Garcia at second, Victor Garcia Jr. at first. Base hit means another run. Base hit means the lead for UTPA. Here's Alex Howe, 0 for 2. Riding a 13-game hitting streak. As the left-hander deals, swinging a hard-hit ground ball off the arm of Gwynn, and he has nowhere to go with it. Everybody's safe. Hmm. Now back here, Bronx, number one, the second baseman, Ryan Ramirez. Well, that loads him up. Now that one was a tough play for Gwynn going to his right, a backhand attempt. Even if he makes the play with the lefty on the mound falling away from first, it was gonna be a long run for Davis to cover and how with the left hand. And you back. know what, Davis wasn't gonna make it. I just saw the replay and you can see Davis wasn't gonna be there. So it's an infield single. Brian Ramirez comes up with the bases chock full of Bronx and looks at strike one, a fastball in the inside corner. Base hit means two. Fly ball means the lead. The 0-1. In the dirt. One and one. Two walks, two bunt fielders' choices, and an infield single. The Bronx have tied the game. And a chance to take the lead. The 1-1. One -one. Fastball. Strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Chant of Brian, Brian from the UTPA fans. Left-handed heels, runners going, and the pitch is bunted foul. Well, Garcia took off from third, and I guess they were going for the suicide squeeze. For a second, I thought maybe he was just trying to steal home, because quite frankly, he had a great jump. Uh, that's a strikeout. Garcia heads back to third. So now they're two away. Here's Shane Ammon to strike out in the ground out today. Davis takes a look at third. Now he winds and deals. Outside. Last time I saw a straight steal of home. And I mean a straight steal. Actually, it wasn't that long ago. No. Pitch fouled off to the left. But the one that I'm thinking of, which was a few years ago, was Andy Pettit on the mound, the left-hander. He uh, was facing the Royals. Mike Sweeney was at third. Not exactly a burner. <laughs> and Pettit fell asleep staring at first base. Sweeney just went. And he stole home. 1-1. One, one. Bunted in the air, foul to the left. 1-2. and two. Garcia has somewhat better speed than Sweeney, especially that stage of Sweeney's career. He had a pretty good chance at it, but an interesting call. Bronx were just trying to make sure they took the lead, but couldn't keep the bunt fair. A 1-2. Swing and a grounder to short Jones Fields, and he fires to first. Not in time! Ammon beats it out. Garcia scores. And the Bronx lead, two to one. Now back to your Bronx, number 22, the center fielder, Andy Fortuna.
Infield RBI single, Shane Ammon. It was a tough play for Jones, and the throw just simply put wasn't in time. Andy Fortuna takes a vicious hack at a fastball. Fortuna 0 for 2. The 0 1. Check swing and a ball in the dirt. 1 and 1. Davis deals. Fastball ball strike in the outside corner. One and two. Pitch is blooped out into center field and it dunks in for a base hit. One run is home, that's Garcia. How coming home, he scores. Caught between second and third is Ammon. He gets tagged out, but two runs score on the single by Andy Fortuna, and the Bronx take a four to one lead. So the Bronx get four runs on three hits. No errors, and they left one. At the end of six innings of play, Bronx lead four to one. This is Bronx Baseball. It's the Red Tax Sales event at South Texas Buick GMC. Come in today and claim your Red Tax cash on just about all of our Buick and GMC inventory. It's the Red Tax Sales event at South Texas Buick GMC. Not the biggest, just the best. Back we are at Edinburgh Baseball Stadium alongside Danny Elizondo. I'm Jonah Goldberg. We go to the top of the seventh. It's four to one Bronx. And with the play by play, here's Danny. Thank you, Jonah. Leading off for the Roadrunners here in the top of the seventh. It'll be the designated hitter, Logan Trollbridge. Trollbridge is 0 for 2 with a fly out to right and a strikeout. And now time's going to be called. The umpires are going to convene here. I'm not sure why. In the meantime, infielders get to come in. I know how grabbed something that was tossed out of the dugout. I don't know if it was a coach who brought it out to him. Now, if that's possible, then it could be that it would be considered a mound meeting. No, he didn't cross no, the he didn't line. No, cross though. the line. Now the pitch to Trowbridge is a ball outside. One ball, no strikes. Alex Henson still on the mound for the Bronx. Here's the 1-0. Diner out towards left center field. Fortuna going over to his right, and he is there to make the catch. Now back for the Roadrunners. Number one. So now back to the top of the order fielder, for the Roadrunners. Jordy Hine will step in. He's two for three, a double, a single this afternoon.
He steps in there, nobody on, one out. Fastball from Henson in there for a strike. Couple of pitchers warming up in the bullpen for the Bronx. Tanner Dickerson still warming up, and I believe that's Andrew Padrone who's starting to throw. Here's the 0-1 from Henson, a fastball that misses outside, one and one to count. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch, breaking ball right on the outside corner. Good pitch right there from Henson. Count now, one and two. Here's the one, two. Fastball called, strike three, right on the outside corner. Hein gone, looking two away now in this seventh. Now for yeah, Max Carter. Second strike out of the ball game for Henson. As Carter digs in, he is 0-4-3. Here's the pitch, breaking ball right on the outside edge. 0-1 the count. And it seems as if the four runs scored by the Bronx in the bottom of the sixth has shot some life into Henson here. The 0-1. Swinging a liner out towards right center field. Rio's going to his right. Rio's is going to be there to make the catch. And that'll retire the side for the Roadrunners here in the top of the seventh. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on in the middle of the seventh. It's stretch time here at Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. As the Bronx lead 4-1, to one. we'll be back with more Bronx baseball after this break. Well outside to the backstop. Everybody running. Rio scores the tying run. Swinging a liner past the third base. Spin into left field. The base hits. Front swing. Front swing. Front swing. This commercial brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. They are the dream. We go to the bottom of the seventh here at Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. Danny Elisona with you here alongside Jonah Goldberg. Bronx lead 4-1. to one, Trying to take the series from Bakersfield as Blake Thomas steps in and lead things off. For the Bronx, here's the pitch. A fastball from Davis stays outside. 1-0, Davis was a bit flustered in that sixth inning as he brings a 2-0 pitch. Fastball misses away. 2-0 the count. Davis working from that third base side of the rubber brings a 2-0 pitch. Fastball taken for a strike. 2-1 on Thomas. Another fastball in there for strike two. Two two pitch line back up the middle and in to the glove of the shortstop. Jones who makes the diving grab. It looked like it was gonna sneak into center field but Jones came out of nowhere. Nice play by Jones. So now Lee Rio steps in. He hits one high in the air out towards center field. Hine going back, still going back. He falls to his knees, but he holds on. Just like that, two quick outs. Rios gave that one a ride. 
With your third baseman, number 13. So now Alberto back to the top Morales. of the order with Alberto Morales. Morales, Morales is 1-4-2, a single fly out and a walk. He swings the first pitch, fouls it over here to the right. And that's another GNS glass foul ball. And here's the 0-1-2, Morales a swing and a miss right over the top of the breaking ball. Quickly now, here's the 0-2. Breaking ball just a bit high. One and two the count. One two pitch from Davis, swing and a liner out towards first, bobbled by Gwynn, but he will step on the bag. Now that'll retire the side for the Bronx here in the bottom of the seventh. No runs, no hits. No errors, nobody left on. After seven innings of play, the Bronx lead 4-1. to one. We'll be back with more Bronx baseball after this break. Brave and bold, silver and gold. We are on a mission. Aggie up. Bronx country just got a whole lot bigger. Mighty Wolverines of UVU. Join the herd. Lopes up. Bold moves, big season, grew up. We are the new gold standard. We will be champions. We are the Western Athletic Conference. Welcome back to Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. We go to the top of the eighth. Danny Elisonda with you here alongside Jonah Goldberg. Bronx leading four to one. Alex Henson out there for the Bronx yet again. Oscar Sinai is going to lead things off for the Roadrunners. He's 0 for 3. Here's the pitch. That one's in the dirt. Ball one. Here's the 1-0 from Henson. There's a strike on the knees. Count evens at one and one. Henson kicks and delivers. Breaking ball just a bit high. Two and one the count. Here's the 2 1 line towards the left side. That'll hook foul into the bleachers. That's another GNS glass foul ball. The count now evens up at 2 and 2. <laughs> 2 2 pitch. Fastball upstairs, checks down to first. No swing, says Greg Charles. And now the count goes full. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a chopper out towards second base. Ramirez has it. Fires on the first in time. One away now for Allen Gwynn. Now for the road runners, number five. The Gwynn's 0 for 2 Alan with a Gwynn. walk. Gwynn. This next pitch for Henson will be number 120. The pitch to Gwynn, a fastball upstairs. One ball, no strikes. Here's 
Here's the 1-0 from Henson. Right on the outside corner. Taking for a strike and the count evens at 1-1. One one. Here's the pitch. Look good, but a bit low. Two and one the count. Two on delivery. Tied on the knees. Count goes to three balls and a strike. Miles Jones on deck. Here's a 3 1. That stays high. Ball four. Now back to the road runners, number 24, the shortstop, Miles Jones. Now Miles Jones will step in. Jones. He's two for three, a double, a single, and a run score this afternoon. Henson out of the stretch now on that first base side of the rubber. Here's the pitch. Fastball right on the knees. Bronx would love Henson to get through this eighth. Here's the 0-1. Fastball right on the outside corner. 0-2 the count. Henson's been locating that fastball on the outside edge. Pretty good in the last couple of innings. Here's the 0-2. Just off the outside edge. Good looking off speed pitch right there from the lefty. Henson stares in for the sign. The one two. Swing and a tapper foul. The count remains the ball and two strikes. One two pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Jones way out in front of the breaking ball. Third strike out of the ball game for Henson. Two down now for Chance Gusbeth. Gusbeth reached on an E1 back in the fourth. And he dropped down the sacrifice button in the sixth. Steps in there with a runner on and two outs. Here's the pitch, swinging a chopper out towards second, backhand grab by Ramirez, he flips it over to short, and they get Gwynn. And that'll do it for the Roadrunners here in the top of the eighth. No runs, no hits, no errors, one runner left on. In the middle of the eighth, Bronx lead four to one. We'll be back with more Bronx baseball after this break. They are the dreamers and the promise of the future. They are the hope who will lead us to tomorrow. They are the givers who have the passion to serve. They are the visionaries who will celebrate discovery. They will make a difference. They will change South Texas.
it's the Red Tax Sales event at South Texas Buick GMC. Come in today and claim your Red Tax cash on just about all of our Buick and GMC inventory. It's the Red Tax Sales event at South Texas Buick GMC. Not the biggest, just the best. Welcome back to Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Danny and Lisoma with you here alongside Jonah Goldberg. The Roadrunners making a call to the bullpen as they call upon number 23, Sergio Luna, who stands in at six foot 210 pounds out of Los Angeles, California. He'll be facing the two, three, four hitters for the Bronx as he brings the first pitch to Jesus Garcia. That one's a bit low and outside. Ball one. Bronx leading four to one here in the bottom of the eighth. Trying to add to their lead here as they try to take the series from the Roadrunners. There's a breaking ball from Luna right on the inside corner. Count evens at one and one. Here's the pitch. Curveball stays high. Two and one the count. Austin Davis went seven innings for the Roadrunners. Allowed four runs, all earned on six hits, two walks, three strikeouts. As Luna brings the 2-1 delivery, there's a strike on the outside corner. Count evens at two and two. Here's the 2-2. Breaking -two. ball way outside. Three and two the count. Here comes the payoff pitch. Low and away, ball four. Garcia is aboard with a leadoff walk. That'll bring Victor Garcia to the plate. He is one four three. Garcia, Junior. Take a look at the numbers for Luna this season. He's making his 12th appearance with a one and one record and a 3.72 ERA. He has pitched a nine and two-third innings as he catches the inside corner on Victor Garcia, Jr. Luna has allowed four runs on six hits, six walks, 12 strikeouts. Points are batting 176 against him as that one skips to the plate. Count evens at a ball on a strike. Alex Howe on deck over to the left side. The 1-1. One, one. Misses way inside. Count goes to two balls and a strike. Nice stop by Huff behind the plate a couple of times already where he ha he's had to lunge to make the block. Holding the runner at first. 2-1 runner goes. Chopper over to the right side. Gwynn's only play will be to first. Garcia goes to second on now the ground out. Number 14, the catcher, Alex Howe. So Alex Howe will step in. He's one for three. Singled back in the sixth. Came in to score the fourth run of that sixth inning. Pitch to Howe, a breaking ball right on the inside edge. Oh, and one. Breaking ball in the dirt. One and one the counter with that hit for Howe back in the sixth. He extended his hit streak to 14 games now. Bronx on top, four to one here in the bottom of the eighth. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss. Off speed upstairs, Now way in front of it. The 
one-two pitch just a bit under the knees close pitch to take of your how but the count evens at two and two two-two pitch Squirts away from Huff, but he picks it up. Fires over to third, not in time. It'll be a wild pitch. So now Garcia 90 feet away, and the infield will come in for the Roadrunners. There's a payoff pitch. How looks at ball four in the dirt. So now Brian Ramirez comes to the plate. Runners on the corners. One out. Now back to your Bronx, number one, the second baseman, Brian Ramirez. Ramirez 0 4 3 this afternoon. With an opportunity to play add on here in the bottom of the eighth for the Bronx. Here's a pitch to Ramirez. Curveball misses outside. The 1 0. Swinging a chopper up the middle. Sine has it. Fires over to first. Not in time as Garcia comes in to score. Howell will scamper over to third. And Ramirez will head over to second on the E4. Now that would be a Bronx number 23, the left fielder, Shane Abbo. Now Shane Ammon will come to the plate. That one will go down as an E4 all the way for Ramirez. So that pitch to Ammon misses outside, ball one. Does get an RBI. The 1-0, misses upstairs, two balls, no strikes. Field remains in for the Roadrunners. Time's going to be called. Huff is going to go out and have a word with the right hander, Sergio Luna. Bronx lead 5 to 1 here in the bottom of the eighth. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Hammond taking all the way. The 3 0. In the dirt, ball four. That'll load him up for Andy Fortuna. Now, time call. The infield will have a quick chat on the mound. Trying to get Luna to settle down here. Now, back into your Bronx, number 22, the center fielder, Andy Fortuna. So, Fortuna has a quick word with Coach Montrana as the infield was talking it up.
There's the first pitch to Fortuna. That's popped up in the infield. Sine comes in and makes a grab. That's two down. Yeah, Bronx, number 11, the designated hitter, Blake Now, Blake Thomas heads to the plate. He's 0-4-3. Infield can play back. There's the first pitch to Thomas. Fastball upstairs. 1-0. and Pitch from Luna. Fastball right over the heart of the plate. One and one the count. Luna brings the one one. Breaking ball just under the knees. Two and one to Thomas. A 2-1 pitch, swinging a high fly ball towards center field. Hine going over to his left, and he is there to make the catch. That'll retire the side for the Bronx here in the bottom of the eighth, but not before they get one run. Oh, no hits, one error, and three runners left on. After eight innings of play, Bronx now lead 5-1. to one. We'll be back with more Bronx baseball after this break. Here, we understand how a team is the result of being part of something larger than yourself. Creating a better outcome and a better tomorrow. Doctors Hospital Renaissance is proud to support the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. Dr. Pena, does LASIK surgery work? LASIK surgery is America's most frequently performed elective procedure. In fact, I've helped thousands of patients see better. Dr. Pena. Call me Raulito. Thousands and thousands. Raulito, are you sure? Is that thing on? Yes. Follow me. I had to put him somewhere. It's a big project. That's a lot of successful operations. Call Dr. Raulito Pena at 661-UC. The phone keeps ringing. Gotta make room. Welcome back to Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. Go to the top of the ninth. This is Bronx lead 5-1, to one. and with the play-by-play, -play, here's Jonah. Well, uh, thank you, Danny. 7-8-9 in the Bakersfield order against Bronx left-hander Alex Henson. He'll go for his first career complete game. He's already pitched a career high tying eight innings. And his 131st pitch is to Ross Huff, hitting the air to right. Lee Rios makes the grab. One away. Here's Andrew Loyeski, one for two, an RBI single in the second, a walk in the fourth. Well, the Bronx are trying to pick up their third consecutive WAC Series victory after losing their first two series. The Bronx were one in five in WAC play. However, they've taken two out of three twice in a row. This series currently tied to one. The Bronx are two outs away from taking two out of three in this series as well. Sensen steps back, brings the knee up, reaches back and deals. A breaking ball. A little bit outside. Henson has stranded eight roadrunners on base today since allowing the first run home. As Henson deals, low and inside. 2-0. and oh. Tanner Dickerson. Check that. Andrew Padrone ready to go in the Bronx bullpen. If necessary. Pitched the final inning yesterday, a scoreless frame, retired all three batters he faced to finish up for Blake English. As Ensign deals, a fastball strike on the inside corner. A count two and one. Oh. 
And the bat goes flying to the Bronx dugout. Thankfully, everybody gets out of the way. So Oleski heads back to the batter's box. It'll be a 2-2. Two -two. Base is clean one out of the ninth. As Henson deals. Outside off speed, three and two. Here's the pitch. Fastball, low ball four, he walked him. Fifth walk issued by Henson today. And here comes Bronx head coach Manny Mandrana. Hasn't made the call yet. Logan Throwbridge is up 0 for 3 against Henson as Mantrana looks down towards the Bronx bullpen. Now he's made the call. So great outing for Alex Henson. He really battled throughout the game. And we'll ask Andrew Padron to get the final two out. Pitching change. We'll be back. This is Bronx Baseball. Here, we understand how a team is the result of being part of something larger than yourself creating a better outcome and a better tomorrow. Doctors Hospital Renaissance is proud to support the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. Dr. Pena, does LASIK surgery work? LASIK surgery is America's most frequently performed elective procedure. In fact, I've helped thousands of patients see better. Dr. Pena. Call me Raulito. Thousands and thousands. Raulito, are you sure? Is that thing on? Yes. Follow me. I had to put him somewhere. It's a big project. That's a lot of successful operations. Call Dr. Raulito Pena at 661-UC. The phone keeps ringing. Gotta make room. It's the Red Tax Sales Event at South Texas Buick GMC. Come in today and claim your Red Tax cash on just about all of our Buick and GMC inventory. It's the Red Tax Sales Event at South Texas Buick GMC. Not the biggest, just the best. Welcome back out to Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. Alongside Danny Elizondo, I'm Jonah Goldberg. Top of the ninth. Andrew Lieski at first, one out. Alex Henson out. Andrew Padron into the ball game. Looking to close it out. Not a safe situation, but that's just a statistic. Logan Trowbridge, the batter, 0 for 3. Fly out, strike out, line out. Padron, the final three outs yesterday. And the first pitch is line caught by a diving Victor Garcia Jr. to his right. Bronx flashing the leather. Now back to the road runner, the one. Two away. 
Here's Jordy Hine. He's one or two for four, a double and an infield single. The lone left-handed batter in the lineup. Padrone one and two with two saves, a 290 ERA. 14 games, two starts, 31 innings, 26 hits. Opponents batting 230 off of him. Struck out 12 while walking nine. Freshman out of McAllen, the city neighboring to the south of Edinburgh. So the fastball misses high. Hails from Nicky Rowe High School. Drone looks to first, come set. Here's the 1-0. Fastball outside, 2-0. The drone deals. Fastball down the middle for a strike, two and one. The drone waits for the sign, gets what he likes. Comes set at the belt, stretches and deals. Fastball popped foul straight back and out of play, and the Bronx are a strike away. Leski at first, two down in the top of the ninth, and the Bronx up five to one. A drone sets at the belt and deals. Fastball, spoiled foul to the left. We'll do it again. Not another GNS glass foul. Padron deals. Fastball hit high in the air down the right field line. A long run for Rios, and it drops in foul territory. We will do it one more time. The drone sets at the belt, stretches and deals. Swing and a miss. This game is over. This one belongs to the Bronx. A 5-1 to one victory for the UTPA Bronx over the California State University Bakersfield Roadrunners. The win goes to Alex Henson. He's one and one, first career win. Eight and a third innings, just one run on five hits, five walks, three strikeouts, 137 pitches, 71 of which were strikes. The loss to Austin Davis, pitched pretty well. Four runs in seven innings, six hits, two walks, three strikeouts, 94 pitches, 58 strikes, he falls to two and seven. Roadrunners got their only run in the second. Miles Jones, a one-out double, and then with two outs, Andrew Lajewski, an RBI single. With the Roadrunners up one to nothing. In the sixth, the Bronx got all the offense they needed. Lee Rios and Alberto Morales let off with walks, then Chewy Garcia Tried to lay down a sacrifice bunt. He pushed it towards first. Alan Gwynn fired it wide of third. Run came home. One out later, Alex Howe loaded him up with an infield single. Then one out after that, Shane Abbott, an infield RBI single. Andy Fortuna, a two-run single. 
Bronx go up four to one, and then in the eighth, with second and third and one out, Brian Ramirez, a grounder to second. Sonoy threw it away. Bronx go up five to one, and that is your final score. The Roadrunners, one run, five hits, two errors. They left nine. The Bronx, five runs, six hits, one error. They left six. Time of the game, two hours and 28 minutes. I see in front of a crowd of 280. And Danny, your player of the game. Player of the game, I'm going to go with Alex Henson with his, after recording his first career win, going eight and a third, allowing just one run on five hits. He settled down nicely towards the end of his outing. And he uh, pitched the Bronx to, uh, to a series win. The Bronx have won their third consecutive WAC series. They're seven and eight in WAC play, 17 and 24 overall. The Roadrunners fall to 15 and 22, eight and seven in WAC play. The Bronx kick off a four game road swing on Tuesday at 6 p.m. when they visit fourth ranked Texas. That's a 6 p.m. start, 5.50 pregame. Catch all the action right here at 956sports.com. We'll have the link up on utpabronx.com. And, of course, if you've got Longhorn Network, if you're one of the chosen few, you can tune it in. All we ask is that you hit the mute button and you turn up your computer and you tune it in on 956sports.com. That'll do it for us from Edinburgh Baseball Stadium. I'd like to thank everybody out there for tuning in. It's been a presentation of Bronx Baseball. For more information, you can log on to utpabronx.com. Never need to reach us, send an email. The contact info is on the website under Inside Athletics. Click on staff directory. But for now, for Matt Massiel running the camera, my partner in crime, Danny Elizondo, and of course, Jack Fowler, wherever you are, this is Jonah Goldberg saying good night or good day from Meadowburg Baseball Stadium. Bronx win 5 to 1.